I had the right call on that because the rain is almost done in Quincy right now. Just a little bit of light rain right along the coast. Everybody can enjoy the parade coming up today. That's great. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still kind of windy near the coast. Let's check out the numbers here. And I just got this in from the Blue Hill Observatory. It officially is the wettest fall on record. That's meteorological fall. Now, that's quite some record huh? from September 1st to November 30th. And we're not done. And they're going to get another slug of rain coming up later tomorrow and tomorrow night. But as of t uh, this moment, uh, as of just a little while, ago they ended up with about an almost an inch so they're up to 23.5 inches at uh, there for this year for this fall meteorological fall and that beat out the old record of 23.13 back in 1996 so you know how wet this fall has been and here are some of the rainfall totals in the last 24 hours of 0.91 in Blue Hill 0.73 in Boston but down here southeastern Massachusetts certainly get the heaviest amount of rain here even our observer at Plymouth had 1.92 two inches and notice how dramatically it drops off to just a few hundredths of an inch to maybe near a tenth of an inch up in here. So this is primarily a southern New England rain and wind storm. And Boston's high so far today, 48. And that is the average high for November 25th, 48. So I don't think it's going to go up much from here. If anything, it may actually go down a touch. The record high is way back in 1979 when it hit at 70 degrees. So currently in Boston, we're sitting right at 48 degrees, the high for the day, the dew point 44. The northeast wind is 16, not terrible in Boston, but the winds have been gustier on the south shore and especially on the Cape. A few places have had brief gusts over 50 miles an hour. And in Boston, the rain will come to an end. There's just a little bit of light rain left right now. But note the rest of the day is essentially going to be on the cloudy side. There may try to be some breaks in the clouds, but for the most part, it's kind of dank out there as the temperatures start falling a little bit as winds turn more north and northwesterly eventually. You can see that little bit of rain near the coast, but the heavy stuff for the most part is just offshore now, and you can see it moving on away. It looks like it's clearing up here in central Massachusetts, but it really isn't. The, the low cloudness exists there right now. A few other spotty showers is transiting on through the Berkshires right now. Could be a few sprinkles of light showers out there, but all the action shifting to this storm, which is going to be blizzard conditions in parts of the Central Plains and Central Mississippi Valley. We'll show you that shortly. This is where it's the windiest now in the Cape, and that small craft, of, uh, small craft, so the uh, wind advisory is up by the National Weather Service till about midday today. It'll be dropped after that as the winds start relaxing, subsiding somewhat. They're bu still building the seas out there, though, and the high tide is at 1218 officially in Boston today. Minor coastal flooding, especially on the south shore and around the Cape, where the seas are building more, and there's a little bit more of an onshore component. We came in this morning, the waves are only about two feet. They've built up to four to six feet now, and the highest waves are south of New England off the New Jersey coast. Okay, all emphasis now on this storm as it goes from portions of uh, Kansas and Nebraska into northern Missouri, into Iowa, and eventually toward Chicago. Chicago should get mainly rain today. Those of you who are traveling today, this is going to be a tough tough areas to travel through right in here from Kansas City and uh, in uh, northeastward toward Chicago. But Chicago probably have a flip to snow tonight and maybe a few inches of wet snow accumulating there. A tough call right in Chicago land itself. But areas northwest and west and southwest of Chicago get, get several inches of snow. As we watch the rain go away, there it is moving out to sea. Staying rather cloudy. It may try to brighten a little bit this afternoon. Some drizzle may actually come in along the coast during tomorrow morning. And then it looks like after that, we will have rain coming in during tomorrow afternoon, and that will become heavy as well into through tomorrow night. Tapers off to drizzle first thing Tuesday morning. Rather dank Tuesday morning. It may try to brighten with a few breaks in the afternoon. Then we get some snow showers from time to time on Wednesday. No big deal out of that. But the most sunshine this week will be on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, albeit on the colder side. All right, Barry.